This is a real life mask. And this is a Photoshop layer mask. Why do we have to use the layer mask in Photoshop? For example, I want to make the color of this flower more vivid and put it into a circle. I could use hue and saturation to change the color first. Then, use the elliptical marquee tool to cut out a circular. Delete the rest of the image. This is an easy way to get the result, right? But what if all of a sudden, I want to change the color of the flower back, and circling another flower instead? At this time, you will find that the color and the cut-off parts of the image cannot be returned. Going back and forward is so normal in Photoshop. We cannot afford that something is gone, and we have to redo everything after a hundred steps. Good use of the layer mask can definitely be helpful. It can help you mask the image, show what you want, and hide what you don't without deleting the original data. So you can remask it anytime. Let's go through how to use a layer mask in Photoshop. White for show and black for hide. For example, we have an image here. We can select the image in the layers panel and click add layer mask. A white image will appear next to the thumbnail. This is the layer mask. What we need to always remember is white for show. Now everything in the layer mask is white, so everything shows. And if you use any tool to make something black in the layer mask, black for hide. You will hide the images. We can try any selection tool and fill in black or use the brush tool to draw some black lines. All black parts will be masked and hidden. What's good is if you unlink the image and layer mask, move the image around. You will still be able to find that the original content of the images. This is the advantage of using a layer mask. You can drag the layer mask into the trash can in the layers panel to delete it. Here we can click delete and continue with the next example. Continue to select the image layer, then click Add Layer Mask while holding Option key or Alt key. We will find that this time the total layer mask is black and the entire image is hidden. Again, remember this. Black for hide. This time we can use any tool to fill this black layer with white. The layer mask will help you show the image only in the white area. Here we understand the most basic principle of making a layer mask is white for show and black for hide. Then what happens if we use the color gray on a layer mask and what will happen if it's a gradient? We can display all layer masks by hold the option key or alt key and click the layer mask. You can then try making a gradient from white to black for the layer mask. And let's create a blue layer on the bottom layer for a better view. We will find that all the white on the left is shown and all the black on the right is hidden. The gradient between the white and black create a layer mask that also gradient from totally show to totally hide. The layer mask doesn't always have to be pure black and white. Also, you can put a layer mask on any adjustment layers. Let's create an adjustment layer in the layer panel and turn this elephant image into black and white. At this time, I only want the grass background to be black and white while retaining the original color of the elephant. We can use the brush tool to paint black on the elephant's trunk area on this white mask layer. In this way, we can get an image with black and white grass background and a colorful elephant trunk. Don't worry about the border being imperfect because we are going to try another two option in the mask properties. After selecting this layer mask, there will be a properties panel. You can continue to adjust the adjustment layer. Or you can click the mask icon to adjust the layer mask again. The most commonly used one is that you can pull and drag a feather to change the feathering of the mask. Also, if you want the whole adjustment layer a little bit transparent, you can try changing the density to get that results. That's for today's video. Thanks for watching. In this series of videos, we will go through everything in Photoshop in a most simple and clear way. And also try our best to answer everything in the comment to help. Please consider hitting the like button or subscribe to support this channel.